Uh, Stephen, tell me, what are you going to do with these guys? So these are spinning chimes. They're another balance, but also a little bit upper body to be able to grip on. So as you grab on, they like to spin on you. So you've got to make sure you're controlling your body in its fullest so you don't fall. This is a fun job, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's a blast. We're at the American Ninja Warrior Adventure Park on another edition of Out and About with Roger Martin. We're at American Ninja Warrior Adventure Park in Santa Ana, California, where you can live out your Ninja Warrior fantasies. Uh, what would be an example of some of the challenges uh, that you meet here today? So you can beat the wall just like you would see on the show at the conclusion of every single of the obstacle courses. You can go across a spinning log, do the famous spider wall, the jumping spider, and just have a blast along with a massive inflatable obstacle course. Located in Santa Ana, California, the American Ninja Warrior Adventure Park enables visitors to experience the thrills and excitement that have made the popular TV series such a worldwide phenomenon. With more than 1,700 square feet of activities, the popular venue is challenging youngsters to test their skills and abilities in the hopes of revealing that secret hidden Ninja Warrior in all of us. What are some of the obstacles that we see on the show that uh, we might see here? So we've got some tilting logs that you would see on the show. We've got the famous spider wall and jumping spider. And then all of our courses end in the world famous warped wall that all of the races end with as well. When somebody comes into this place, uh, what are some of the things that they are expected to do right off the bat? So as soon as someone comes in, the first thing we do is we get them through a safety briefing to make sure that they're as safe as they can be out on the course because safety is paramount. But then from there, they have the choice of either going over to the inflatable obstacle course or any of the five lanes of obstacles like you would see on the show. Most people will start at lane one, which is our easiest obstacle course, and then work their way through to the fifth course, which is the hardest. The beginning of the course looks familiar and visitors will instantly recognize many of the same obstacle courses that they have grown to love. And though the obstacles get more difficult as you continue along the course, visitors have numerous opportunities to try again with the goal of overcoming the more difficult challenges. So there's three categories of ninja obstacles. There's upper body, lower body, and balance. So a good course will be a mix of all three, so that way it challenges your whole body, not just one aspect. What do some of the kids say to you uh, after they left, and uh, what are their impressions? So kids love it, because they come in, they're able to you know, live out what they see on the show, they have a blast, and parents love it, because kids come in with a thousand degrees of energy and leave tired and with a big old smile on their face. Wow, nap time, huh? Oh yes, definitely. I think the parents also, when they're on the course crushing it, they just have as much fun and then they go home and just relax and have a great rest of their day. I see that some uh, courses are a little harder uh, as they go along. Uh, how does that work? So each course is designed with different obstacles in mind that increase in difficulty. So like on lane one, we have a balance log that's stationary. It doesn't spin. But then in lane four, there's a log that looks exactly the same, but it spins. So it adds a whole nother level of difficulty to your balance. I would like to see how all of these work today. Definitely, I can definitely demonstrate some of our obstacles and how they're done. Ninjas in training start with the angle steps or the slightly easier inflatable mushrooms. These are the first obstacles which greet participants from the start and are great tests of balance and agility. Tell me about this obstacle here. So this is one of our balance obstacles. So it's gonna be a round mushroom shaped step that's actually unstable. There's springs underneath, so it wiggles underneath your feet as you step across. Oh, we wish you good luck here. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Even a seasoned pro like Steven knows that some of these obstacles are quite challenging, requiring not only speed and balance, but lots of upper body strength. <laughs> he 
Even our producer is surprised by the increasing degree of difficulty displayed with each obstacle, especially the jumping spider, a challenge that can only be surmounted by wearing the right footwear. What on earth is this thing? So this is the jumping spider. It's a trampoline-based obstacle where you've got to jump off the trampoline in between the walls and then use your lower body strength to be able to grab the walls with your feet and then work your way along the parallel walls. And you are going to do this, right? Oh yeah, I'm going to fly through that. Yeah. This is what everyone ends with on every single episode of the show. And this is what draws the most people, is right over here to try to beat that wall. And we're going to end with you. Definitely, yes. I'll get that middle wall for you, the big one right now. Unfortunately, I'm injured, so I'm going to just go for the middle one. Beat that wall. Another of the surprises that await visitors is a huge area featuring an inflatable floor and walls where visitors can run, jump, and let loose. With several rooms and thousands of square footage, it's like a children's bounce house on steroids. And since it features additional obstacles and play activities, it enhances the American Ninja Warrior experience in numerous other ways. This is what we call our air course. It's a giant inflatable obstacle course and other obstacles like you'd see on the show, including the warp wall. There's a balance beam and some slides. It's a blast in a completely different way than the other obstacles we were on earlier. I, I do notice that I have to wear special socks. Yes, we've got our Ninja Grip socks. They're designed specifically for our air course where it's grippy on the toes, so you've got traction, but nothing on the heels, so you're safe going down the slides. I feel so safe. Awesome, glad that you're safe. Of course, the main attraction at the American Ninja Warrior Adventure Park is the challenge of crushing the course, a notion that each participant carries with them. Whether they are fitness buffs or youngsters willing to meet a challenge, they know that they'll be surrounded by supporters who will cheer them on to the end. We already have people that will be here on vacation because Southern California being that mecca for people traveling, they'll come in and then can't wait for it to come back. We've had people from Hawaii, from the East Coast. We've even had people from Australia come and crush the course. Armchair athletes wishing to unlock their hidden ninja warrior can do so at one place only, and it's right here in Southern California. So how do we visit, or anybody visit, the American Ninja Warrior Adventure Park? So we're located in Santa Ana, California, in the main place mall. The best way is going to be go to our website, AmericanNinjaWarriorAdventurePark.com, and you can find out all about our ninja sessions. We've got upcoming training sessions we're going to be starting. We do birthday parties. It's a blast. So once again, just go to AmericanNinjaWarriorAdventurePark.com. When we return, we'll delve deep into the ancient past as the Mayan civilization lives again thanks to a spectacular new display at the California Science Center. <laughs> 